it goes. Didn't quite get to the locks. And it locks in the couch. Set up. Hmm. I'd have to fix that part. Warning. This video may contain scenes of extreme untidiness. Viewer discretion is advised. Welcome back to the Dirty Shop. Today is another trailer project, at least the start of it. I've got a couple weeks here that I want to get some stuff done in here. I'd really like to get the heater done, but uh, the first plan here is to get the bed built and put in. And uh, I was planning on this from the start. The futon I had, I didn't really like very much. It was really hard to fold up and down, and it slid around and ended up scratching my wall and other things like that. So I didn't really like that. So I'm going to build my own, basically, futon. I'm going to use the same material, and uh, I do have a road behind me, so every once in a while we're going to get a car going by like now. Um, sometimes louder than others, but uh, that's where I've got to work with. I'm, I'm going to have to pull this step off because the bed's going to slide right by here, and I'm going to have to make a new step for that. And then I was planning on this before, so I do have my plastic sliders installed here already on the wall uh, that are hopefully going to tie to my bed so it can slide up and down. At least the upper portion of the bed will slide up and down this track with these sliders I've built. So I'm going to get on some a little more design and uh, see what I come up with. I've already got a pretty good idea of what I'm going to do, but all my projects are a bit evolutionary and they tend to change and grow as I go along and usually work out. Sometimes they don't though. So uh, we'll see what we can do and uh, I'll get back to you as we start this project. I'm going to do this in a little bit of a different format. I'm going to narrate the uh, parts that I need to as opposed to the captions. I don't really like those. I'm using the rail again for most of this bed project. and I'm using my drill, my uh, mill here as a drill press, but you could easily do this on a drill press. This is the hinge for the uh, back of the bed to the bottom of the bed where the couch bends. And uh, I'm gonna, I've got a frame here and I'm using a wire feed welder to put it all together. I like inner shield wire on a wire feed welder rather than using argon. It just gets annoying having to have the gas on hand all the time. Although the inner shield is half again more expensive. So you, you know, pay for it somewhere. So here's the bottom of the bed being welded together. And uh, so you can see it's hinged there in the middle. I'm using one inch by eighth inch uh, steel stock to do uh, corner supports on most of this bed. It uh, makes it a little bit more rigid. I've got this all left over from some other blacksmithing project or something. I don't know, lots of material laying around, which is nice. Make sure it's all square before you put these corners on because uh, eh, you'd be really annoyed if you came back to it and it wasn't square. You see all kinds of random bits and pieces of projects laying around this shop and need to do a bit of cleanup and uh, get myself some more space to work with. When you're cutting with a cutter like this, make sure to wear your uh, safety equipment. Dust mask and goggles and, and your hearing protection are very important. I'm uh, using some wheels off of an old set of roller blades here for uh, the bottom of the bed. Uh, they're much more rolly than I need, they're much smoother, but it's nice to have good wheels. I made a little spacer here so I get the width right and I'm going to tack weld these together to test it. You can see it's tacked here and I'll put a wheel in and uh, see how it goes. So there's six of these legs on the bottom of the couch. Two in each corner or one in each corner and then there's two in the center corners as well. I tend to tack most things on, uh, check it for square and then do all the finish welding. You can see I'll finish weld it up all here. I'm using a, a, a air-powered wire brush to clean all this up. It sounds kind of funny, but uh, nice and quick. Clean it all off. I wish I could work this fast in real life. These little tabs here will help the bed uh, give it just extra support when it's down in the bed configuration rather than all the weight hanging on those quarter-inch bolts that I used for the hinge. I probably should have used bigger bolts, but uh, instead I've got those little braces there in the back, and you'll see later where they, uh, where they go into the bed. Putting all the wheels on. And it's super smooth. Here I'm recycling again. This is an old bed frame, like a queen size bed frame, but I'm using the angle iron of the bed frame to box in the bottom part of my uh, my bed. I originally wasn't planning on putting a cabinet in the bottom of this, but after looking at it, I really decided it needed to be done. I like to use OSB on most of my projects. It's uh, flat and inexpensive and, and tends to work well. It holds up well for me. I, um, I kind of even like the look of it, actually. I've got some door hinges, bolting them on to hold it all together. Door hinges are nice and strong, they're expensive. You can get them almost anywhere. I got a whole bunch of them laying around. 
So here you can see I've got most of it boxed in now. All these little bits and pieces of OSB I had to squeeze in here. I had to chop all these little notches out of them and things like that to get it all to fit together. It was kind of tight. The front hinges are piano hinges. The doors here. And I'm using a couple of uh, drop down toggles to hold, hold the doors closed. I built that belt sander there. You can see it in some of my other videos too. That's a project I did about 10 years ago. It's been really handy. It's adjustable out to like 80 inches or something. Uh, so it's really nice. But here you can see the toggle and it just drops down in front of the drawer and keeps the drawer closed. And the way the toggle keeps it down, so it's really con convenient. These are the inner slides for the uh, bed rails. And then these are parts of the catches. So uh, each one of those will get a hinge welded to the back of it. And then a pin goes uh, through the hole on the other side. As you can see here, welded to the rail. And you'll see these work in a minute on the bed. That's a closed configuration. And uh, you know, couch configuration, then all the way out would be bed. All right, I'm assembling them, putting them on the wall with the uh, plastic sliders I made in a previous pro uh, part of uh, this project. And uh, you can cut those out of Delrin or any, some sort of solid black plastic is what I use there. Here's the catches. These slide rails are tied in with some more of those plastic pins and more dowel pins. And this is the catch. So the rope goes out to the front. There's this catch here. It does that, right? There's this, this pin goes into the bar. Spring keeps it forward. So when it slides back, it drops in and catches. Now when I pull the rope in the front, you can see it comes loose. Okay, and now it's locked. Now it's unlocked. Now I'm gonna pull this out and slide it out. As you can see there, it just slides nicely out on these steel rails. And these blocks here are the ones for the upper part of the bed. They've got stops, so they stop level. And then there's these metal plates here where this, this piece here comes down and rests on those to give it a little extra strength. Uh, hopefully, from the angles you guys are at, you can see that. And uh, that's pretty much how it works. Well, here we go. We've got uh, the bed installed here. And without the mattress on, it pulls up and down real nice. It's nice and smooth. I could do it real easy. But as soon as I put this mattress on here, the weight of the mattress and the, it doesn't really want to bend much makes it really hard to pull this back portion up because this was attached up here. And I actually broke the little clip thing that I had on there that was holding my webbing. So I'm going to make a two to one advantage pulley system for this to go up to. So it's going to go up. Um, well, actually, it's going to start at the top. It's going to go down and then back up and then pull forward. So it'll. I'll give you twice as much power for my pull, and hopefully that will help me lift this up uh, with the mattress on. We're kind of thinking we're going to get a lighter weight mattress in the future anyways, because this mattress is heavy uh, and kind of thick for what we're doing. It's nice, but uh, it's pretty heavy, and, and I'm trying to keep my weight down the trailer. So instead of having this 50-pound mattress, we could get like a 15-pound mattress. And that's, you know, it all adds up when you're towing this stuff down the road. So I'm going to make this uh, pulley system, and I'll see if I can make this easier to lift. And uh, while you're watching, you see my nice felted hat here that I've got. My wife just made it for me. And if you want to see how we made this hat, because it started out like this big, then you can check out uh, the video in this link up here. And uh, it'll, it'll take you there. And you can see how we, we took this and made this cool felted beanie. And now I have to wear it so it can shrink onto my noggin. So I made this three-way block here. And it's just going to have um, come off of there. All right. So one of these is going to have a pulley on it. And then the webbing will co go over this one. It'll go down to the lower one, which has just got two pins in it. Go around that, which has got a pulley on it. And it'll go up over this, and then I'll be able to pull here. So it'll give me twice as much power. So I'm going to hang this one up there, put this one on the bottom, and we'll see if we can make it work. So here you go. I had to do a little bit of adjustment. We took it on one little trip and uh, while we were driving it popped down and, and it was in the couch configuration here and it popped uh, loose and slid down. And I found out the pins I put in the catches were just a little bit too short. So I put longer pins in it and now it's good to go. 
you can see couch configuration these hold the bed on the, the mattress on you can open this and get in there it's got the cabinets one on each side it attaches with four pins here just these four little clip pins so i can pull those out and haul it out so i can still use the trailer um, and then to put it down you just grab your two ropes pull the pins out with the ropes and you just pull it down and there it is down and to put it back up you grab your, your cord here you pull it up pull it up again and you just push it in with your foot and it, obviously it locks in the up position and we're good to go pretty sweet huh i'm happy with it i'm gonna put the mattress on show you with the mattress so there you go this is what it looks like with the mattress on it the uh, the bed that I made is slightly longer and slightly wider than this mattress so that in the future I could put a bigger mattress on it because my feet tend to hang off this. So we, eventually we're going to put a piece of, we're probably going to get some foam, like say four inch foam. And uh, we're going to lay that four inch foam on here instead of this heavy mattress. And it'll be lighter weight for the trailer, easier to move around, uh, easier for the bed to go up and down. And uh, it'll I'll be able to make it a little longer. I still need to paint this, but I don't really want to do it right now, and I actually don't mind the way it looks too much. So uh, in, in the future, I'll haul it out and I'll paint it uh, something nice. And otherwise, the bed is done. Pretty happy about that. Thank you for watching. I do really appreciate it. This uh, video was a little long in coming. It took me a long time to uh, to get around to getting this part of the project done. I was working on something else for the trailer, and it didn't work out, uh, at least not yet. And so this one took a little while longer, but it's sweet. And I hope that uh, other people might get some ideas from this or maybe even build one of these on their own. Uh, it should be a good solid bed for this. And uh, most of it, like you know, 99% of it at least, you don't need anything special for. The only thing I used uh, special for the mills was the uh, rail sliders. So, uh, so I'm uh, pretty happy with the bed. Thank you for watching. Check out my other videos, please. And uh, we're going to be on a good road trip here pretty quick. So I'm hoping to do a little bit of like trailer life videos since we're going to be out trailering around and see what it's like for five people to live in this trailer. See you next time on The Dirty Shop.